What is up you guys, Glitches here and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a game changing video for you guys regarding farming. I uh, wanted to do a quick update on my farming guide. You guys loved the original one, um, but as you know in the beta things change pretty quick and within two days of me posting that video, things like the grow lamps got nerfed and the original setup that I demonstrated as the most efficient setup uh, turned out to not be the most efficient setup. You needed a few more extra things to make it work uh, within a couple days of that video happening. So I wanted to post a quick update because since then I have come across uh, some content that another player of the game made and I want to give him a quick shout out and give him credit. Uh, his name is Amir Suits. Um, the guy's only got six subscribers on YouTube and he posted a 30 second clip but this 30 second clip blew my mind. So I wanna give him credit, show him some love, go to his channel, give him some uh, subscribes, some likes, and uh, give him some credit for this video because it was a killer idea. And I told him, I reached out to him if it was okay for me to share this, um, because I wanna make sure as many of you guys see this as possible because it was that genius of an idea for farming. Um, so let me jump into it and show you guys the new and improved, and in my opinion, the most efficient and best farming setup you can possibly do in the game right now. Um, but yeah, give him uh, some love uh, before we jump into it. Um, that's his channel right there. Uh, but moving on, we're at, back at Cafe Glitches. You're going to see some upgrades here once we open up this door. And voila, here we are. As you can see, farm's looking a little bit different, but... It is pretty unique, and I want to show you guys why. And that is uh, because not only can you do a 3x3 three three grid, but you can do a 24x3 grid using the shelving units. I will probably post some of the comments right here on the screen. The uh, Probably the number one most asked question across all my videos is, where did you get these shelving units? So I'm going to answer that now. It is just a simple random world drop. Just open up. Any chest you find, any dumpster you find, and all of the strongholds you're clearing out, and hopefully you get lucky and the blueprint will eventually drop for you. Um, but that is what you need. You can either use um, in the middle the shelving unit or to uh, hold up your sprinkler. I found that this round, um, it's called the Classic Round Table 1 works. So if you get this blueprint, it might be from a vendor, I believe. Um, that one works as well. I tried out pretty much every other piece of furniture, like the side table, things like that. And for some reason, when I used that as the placeholder to put my sprinkler on, it was either too high or too short. And the top row of boxes weren't getting proper water. But I did some testing and sure enough, just throwing another shelf in the dead center and putting your irrigation on that and propping it up above does work. And believe it or not, that water not only waters the top floor, but it also fully saturates the middle and bottom floor. The water drops all the way down and hydrates every single row, which is awesome. Um, the other big benefit to this setup is, again, it's only a 3x3 three three grid, but because we're stacking it vertically, we can uh, grow 24 crops at once in a very small area. Um, so having it on as a vertical setup saves a ton of room um, early game. If you don't have the materials to build out a huge base like we have right now, if you've got a smaller base with uh, a little bit smaller of a hive territory and you don't want to take up a lot of room you can grow 24 crops in a small three by three section um, but let me jump into how you build it real quick um, all you got to do really is uh, have the shelving units first of all that's the key thing to make this work you want to do a three by three grid with eight shelving units around and on each shelf you want to place one planter on each shelf so three planters per shelf and once you get them stacked up, it's basically going to look like your three by three grid, except now it's going to be a cube and it's going to be three rows high as well. Um, and then once you get them stacked three by three and three rows high, you're going to put a shelf or that round table in the dead center and then place your automatic irrigation facility right on top of it. And then hook that up the same way you uh, would have how I showed in my previous video with the pipe going from your osmosis purifier directly to the um, sprinkler and then electricity running from the sprinkler to your power supply. Um, and then last but not least, just make sure you change the power of the sprinkler to match whatever crop that you're growing at the time. Um, to be most effective, obviously, I would try and grow all the same crop at once and just do one run of that crop, get a huge uh, harvest of all of it, a 24 crop harvest of all those uh, same matching crops. You can technically, because we have uh, four different grow lamps, that's the other thing. Um, that was the main thing that they nerfed a day or two after I posted my last video, is you no longer could do 
just the one grow lamp for a three by three box you need to like at least two um the way i found it to be most effective with this setup is doing four grow lamps you can still get away with only using the one sprinkler but if you want the light to fully penetrate through all three levels across all four corners you will need to put a light on each corner but given how many crops we're growing two four six eight and then ten watts total for the whole setup is not a bad use of wattage for 24 crops at one time um, so it's still a pretty efficient setup uh, 10 watts i'd say is worth it for this many plants you're getting all at once um, so definitely by far in my opinion the most efficient and uh, uh, least amount of space uh, taking up a uh, method of growing your plants um, and you can easily uh, harvest the second and first row. Um, and then what I did to just make it easy is I put it a, a storage box on one side for seeds and my decompost bin on the other side. And not only is that used for storage in your fertilizer, but it also acts as a stepping stone so you can quickly get up and uh, change the value of your irrigation and look up and change the value of your lights if you need to. Um, so yeah, this is our new setup. Um, it is by far the best farming setup that I have found in the game so far. Again, 24 crops within a 3x3 grid. It doesn't get much better than that. And I'll just double check these. Um, as you can see, a lot of these actually just finished. It looks like all of them actually just finished. Um, but we have a good yield on every single one of them, which meant it was in the perfect green zone the entire duration of the time it was growing through every stage. So perfect uh, outcome for all of these crops, as you can see. It doesn't get much better than that. And uh, yeah. Just go in and harvest and uh, you'd be good to go. So a 24 by three is the new most efficient setup. But uh, yeah, Amir posted that little 30 second clip of him running around showing it off. I'm like, man, that is a genius setup. I gotta give this guy credit. I gotta get this out to as many people as possible. So I wanted to quickly make a video and show it off. But yeah, in my opinion, this is the new best method. Um, that water surprisingly penetrates through all three levels perfectly fine. Um, it does take a little bit like you saw in my previous video for that irrigation to start building up. The light will be instantaneous, but you will start seeing it start at like two, four, six percent. As long as you're seeing that every few minutes start increasing, then you know you're in the green and uh, it should get to whatever setting you have it on the hose. Eventually might take like an hour or so for it to fully ramp up, but once it is, your crop should be good to go and it'll be fully automated. Um, I do highly recommend once you get into the later game to invest in one of these water pumps, as you can see here, because um, then you don't have to worry about uh, rain and uh, being limited to the weather systems. Those water pumps, you can just plug right into the ground and that, as long as it's connected to electricity, will just infinitely pump water to your irrigation system forever. Um, so between the um, 10 watts on your plants and the two watts you need basically for your purifier you can run a 24 crop farm within a 3x3 grid doesn't get much better than that so yeah i just wanted to quickly share this with you guys i thought this is the best setup you can do and uh i wanted to make sure as many people saw it as possible but if you enjoyed it you found it informative be sure to smash that like button comment down below and as always if you want to keep up to date with all my future content consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell but until the next one hope you guys had a great day and we'll see you all later